Hello everyone, welcome to Cyberdecky. Today I'm going to show you how to install Cisco Modeling Lab. So 2024. So this is the new version which is 2.7 and previous one is uh, 6. Point, so 2.6 which we I have already done uh, the mod, I have done the video on that. But this one I'm gonna do again new one focusing on 2.7. So first, if you are if you don't have a CSM or CMS CML actually, if you don't have a license, you need to buy this one. It will cost you 200 almost, and it comes with license of uh, yeah, the license are below here information yeah so there's a two version of in this if you see here so this one is like a like a professional so called or maybe personal but it has a 40 device license then this one has a 20 device license which i gonna do is this one which is a personal lab so it comes with um, so these are the things comes with that so what it comes with is that uh, these are the operating systems you get so you'll be getting typical uh, iOS then next iOS XRV and iOS XE and ASA virtual also so these are the thing but the one uh, 2.7 has I think DN uh, what do you call it? SD WAN SDN uh, functions so if you want to try SDN uh, functions you can go for this um, 6 or 2.7 so but it's still not stable version I think because if we go to I'll show you next um, yeah so once you purchase you will have a, so you can go there you can download you have the license and everything so once you click download it will take to a new window where you will see most of the uh, all the available operating systems or uh, I mean the versions you can download from uh, Cisco download option so they have this is I mean if you see here they already mentioned uh, you see here they already mentioned that uh, this is latest but this is still recommended so if you are using already 2.6.1 then you don't need to immediately update you can wait then you can go for new uh, once it becomes stable you can go unless if you are you know like me very curious to know what is new then you can go with this one but installation wise both same there is no much difference so installation is all same yes you need to select which type of things you're going to use this one is for bare metal i think it's the ios version this one is uh, similar to that which oh this one is sorry this one for upgradable so if you are using if you are coming from 2.6 and you want to move to 2.7 then you need to use this option that's what it means and so if you're doing a fresh installation on a VM uh, VMware uh, workstation you need a workstation so workstation uh, then you can use the OVA file from <coughs> you can download this one so I already downloaded this one and you need to download this as well which is uh, either one so different this both same but again different is that it comes with some of the other function uh, available extra files which is you don't have if you have only uh, 2.6 uh, 2 so if you're installing only 2 points if you're upgrading from 2.6 to 2 Point seven, then you just I think need to install this. That's what it says in a supplementary uh, reference model. 
and but if you are doing a fast installation like me uh, you need these two files so one this one is the OVA file to install and this one is the iOS so these are the supporting files so all the iOS v, uh, virtual uh, operating systems for the routers which is files are included in this so so these two you need if you are installing fresh right so I have already downloaded let me see where it is yeah uh, uh, yeah sorry uh, this is, uh, so I already put it here so uh, first I need to open this in the VM open Okay, I think we can change name no issue but I'm not gonna change that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the configuration a little bit uh, so these two I downloaded already so this one and this one so this this one is the first one is the OVA file this one is the iOS file and I save here I save in my uh, this so these are the two files <clears throat> so this one is the OVA file I already opened in VMware you can see and this one I unzip this one and it has an iOS file so this file has to be mounted so otherwise it will not you're not able to have all the VM needed sorry all the OS iOS you needed so just need to select this open and okay that's it then you start this go to edit and let me show the configuration so in my case I have given 64 GB and 12 total processor and you need to enable this uh, virtualization in case if you have any error message then I will put a link how to solve that issue yeah basically you need to go to this link I will put it in the chat so try all these um, <clears throat> commands uh, here you can see you had run as admin uh, make sure that you have don't have you know virtualization enable or hypervisor is enable if this this should be untick not tick untick and then you need to run this thing on the you know command line which in the PowerShell so just open command line and run as a you know CMD then from there you can <clears throat> run this one as a command line so once you've done that you just restart then after that you may don't have this issue uh, you may we won't have any issue going from um, installation I mean virtualization virtualization will not give you any issue so just to recap so what are the things you need to do is you need to give memory and emoti and then you need to add your iOS file don't forget that then you start Yep, then press enter. Just enter. Accept the okay. attach this so not yet okay so it should be connected so th that's why is error message coming okay so that's done so it will asking for sys admin yeah so it's asking for whether this password is strong or not <clears throat> it's fine it's a lab so I don't mind you now admin this is second password for the admin. I'll give the same password. Hopefully, it works. Mm. 
yeah <clears throat> yeah that's fine so I use DHCP uh, I don't change anything on the IP address then confirm prefer the background will be okay yeah so it will take some time to copy all the uh, files still it's downloading <coughs> it's copying the image from uh, the cd-rom we just connected using the ios file so it will take some time uh, let me uh, start the video from once it's complete i think it's around 40 gig so it will take a lot of time yeah <clears throat> copy installation yes so the installation is completed so what we have to do is once you will see the accessible uh, ip address so this one for just ignore this one is ipv6 you may see but when I, you can use this part so this one be different for you in my case it's this different ip so once you get the full completion then you can go to uh, Yeah, just go to the IP and you need to log in so I have login already so after this you can start adding your stuff so that's all for this video if you have any questions please feel free to um, ask me in the comment I'm happy to reply as soon as possible and if you are someone who's watching this channel and not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and thank you for your time and i hope this is helpful and if you have any question again please put in a comment and like share and please subscribe to the channel and i would like to grow this uh, to a good level and support people who want to learn you know network and cybersecurity related and sometime if i have to travel also i'll try to do some travel videos or vlogs so it, i hope everything i'm sharing is beneficial for everybody and please comment and and share and like and subscribe thank you